Hamilton Bradshaw originally set up as a mid-market private equity firm. We were very keen on looking at slightly stressed or underperforming assets where we could leverage our financial position and our operational expertise into those businesses to try and provide some sort of gain. As the market started to harden around 2008 and 2009, both James and I reverted back to type where we had a lot of experience in recruitment and we felt we would be more successful harbouring uh, and managing our risk effectively in markets that we had greater knowledge in. With that in mind, we built a large portfolio of staffing assets which helped us to become what we have become today, which is running around about 40 different trading companies, different brands, over a thousand employees working in those brands, uh, with around 90% of our revenue generated from the UK. We were the early adopters of asset-based lending around about 2006. If you were a trading company and you wondered if you should or shouldn't look at asset-based lending, you may find that you are invoice discounting or factoring, where it would be a very good suggestion to go and look at what uh, an asset-based lender could do for you. It can fix a much better level of working capital. Um, you can be con completely in control of your collections. You control your asset base. You manage your cash flow more effectively. You own your outcomes more effectively. And asset-based lending has also moved to be able to provide sometimes some working capital facility over and above what can be gained through the debtor schedule. So I think that it gives you a much better, flexible platform to work from. It gives you forecastability on your working capital cycles and it's priced very fairly. I think the pitfall that one might find in asset-based lending is choosing the wrong partner. As we know, businesses can trade up, they can trade down, they can have areas and times of pressure and it's important that the lender understands your business, they understand the management team, they have trust in your ability to be sensible, have good judgement in the way that you manage your assets and manage your business. So the partnership and the relationship is fundamental to having a long-standing relationship with any lender, not least an asset-backed lender. Our advantage has been heavily based on the relationship we have built with ABN AMRO. I believe that it's because of the relationship accompanied by a sensible asset-backed lending structure, it's allowed our businesses to develop, which has kept a three-speed economy alive during the last five years within our trading portfolio, which has given us the growth that we've enjoyed today. I have had regular contact with the team at Avian AMRO and continue to do that. The relationship has given them good insight and trust in what we do and how we conduct ourselves, but also has given us good insight in how the businesses of ABN AMRO are building out their product lines. I think asset-based lending, because of the way it looks at a business and balance sheet, is able to provide more continuum. So if I were looking at a transaction, I would be creating a combination of lending, which would be structured debt accompanied with asset-based lending. Genuinely, I think asset-based lending, in isolation of any senior debt, is still a very worthwhile product that private equity firms should look at.